All right, this is going to be a uh, first tutorial in many about Mass Effects. What is Mass Effects? Well, that's going to give us the ability to use gravity, to use kinesthetics, um, ragdolls, things like that in our scene to create more fluid animations rather than keyframing and things like that. So to get started, we have to first open up our Mass Effects toolbar. Um, it is not in the standard toolbar, so the way we'll access that is come right up here and right click, and we're going to choose Mass Effects toolbar, and you'll get this undocked toolbar. Now, you have the options to dock this toolbar wherever you want. We're going to leave it floating right now. And we're going to just look at the main components of this toolbar for this particular tutorial. So first, all of these icons that have the little arrow to the lower right hand corner allow us to roll this out and select other options. So for instance, if I click here and hold, it gives me the options to go to world parameters, simulation tools, and I can choose those just by simply hovering over that and let go of my mouse. Now the first one we chose was World Parameters Panel. So you can see World Parameters right here. And this is what we get. Now in this particular panel, this allows us to change and manipulate the parameters for the global settings of our scene. So this is going to affect everything, all of the objects in the scene that we set up. The first group that we see here is the environment. Now, in the environment, it gives us the option to use ground collisions. So when we set up our scene and something falls, this is going to allow it to collide with the ground. So we're going to set up a very simple scene here. And we're going to use a sphere. and we'll pick our sphere up off the ground. And um, we're going to apply some settings to the sphere using the Mass Effects toolbar so that we can see these things work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to this dynamic rigid body. We're going to click and hold and we're going to apply a dynamic rigid body. Now we'll talk about this later in a different tutorial. This just allows this ball to be affected by these settings. So once we get that set up, we'll come over here to this little arrow here. And that will just simulate the settings that we have set up here. So right now we have ground collisions. We have gravity. So what should happen is this ball should fall and it should collide with the ground, which is the ground is set to 0, 0 which is going to be where our grid is. So we'll click this, and we can see that it did fall, and then it did collide with the ground. Now, an important thing to remember, when we simulate like this, this is not actually setting up keyframes. So when I scroll, you can see that my sphere does not move up and down. It did not actually create the animation. Now, when we click off of that simulation, we turn it off, or reset the simulation, it goes back to the original point. And we'll talk later about how to set these keyframes up so that it retains our animation. So the next options we have here are global gravity. And we can set the gravity to be whatever direction that we want it to be. And we can set the acceleration. So for instance, we had it on the Z axis, so it fell straight down. If we choose the x-axis and simulate, we can see that our gravity is now on the x-axis. Now the gravity by force object, this allows us to add a gravity space warp. So we'll come up here to our space warps and choose gravity. And we'll draw our gravity in. And what we do with this is just simply choose gravity by force object, choose pick gravity, 
and select the gravity space warp. We can modify the gravity space warp in our modifier tab here and we're just going to leave it stock right now so we can see that it's working. So when we hit our simulation, you can see now the ball is falling but it's not falling very fast because we haven't set this up yet. So we're going to reset our state and we're going to turn our strength up. Let's turn it up to 500. Now we can see a significant change in the speed of our ball falling. And this time we're going to rotate our gravity. So when we were using the directional gravity up here with our axis, we had to choose an axis X, Y, or Z. Well, when we use gravity by force object, now we can set specific angles for our gravity to work at. So now you can see that our ball actually falls at this angle and it gives us a little bit better animation in that it bounces a little bit because it hits it sideways and rolls off the screen. And then the last selection that we have in this group is no gravity and obviously that's just going to turn the gravity off. Now the bottom group down here, the rigid bodies, that group is to solve problems mainly with collisions between objects. So we will actually look at that later once we have a little bit more of a scene built here and um, where we can set up some issues and see how this actually works.